everyone, welcome to a rather unexpected unboxing here on DC Spinmaster. Alright, as always, I'm your host, Frozen Stratos, and today I went to Walmart and uh, I found out, uh, sort of yesterday and today, that there are variants that I did not know about. Uh, so basically, uh, what I found today was. Oh, I dropped it. Killer Croc and uh, King Shark. Now, these, these do sort of look like variants that we've seen before. Let's dive into King, uh, no, let's dive into Killer Croc real quick. Uh, so Killer Croc so far, these are the three variants that I had already known about. Um, to the left, that was, I believe, the standard retail one. The middle one, that one was the, um, three-pack with Batman and Robin. And then the one all the way to the right is the Walmart exclusive. Uh, but this one also... Uh, happens to be a Walmart exclusive and every time you saw the Walmart exclusive version there was a, uh, a First edition up here and he did not have these green hands. So I'm gonna you know crack this open see See what's up with this one and do a little comparing and contrasting because this is his card and this is the initial one he shared with Batman and it is in a different location so this is this is a variant this is different um, and I do have the the one with the barf right here uh, it is strange to me that they decided to create this very ooh it's like translucent uh, strange to me that he decided oh you know I'm just gonna I'm gonna throw up and then also just throw up all over my hands uh, is basically the conceit of this figure to me. Uh, he's got these clear green ones here as well. Um, and then also, ooh, I always love seeing these. The, uh, you know, these vicious looking back claws. Now, um, as I'm opening this up, I did want to let you know that there is also, you know, while there is a variant, uh, a new variant of, um, you know, uh, this killer croc, uh, there was not a new variant of Batman, and I can say that for certain-ish. Uh, let's take a look at these images again. Uh, I took this from eBay. I did find this in store, but, um, this Batman does not have the first edition on it, so this means it is a re-release of this figure. Uh, to my knowledge, uh, and I'm looking in my bin, it's hard to find... I have this figure already, and I'm pretty sure that it is exactly the same uh, as the first edition release. So, uh, you know, I only collect variants. I don't collect, uh, you know, different versions of the packaging because I throw those away. But this is this is the new Killer Croc. This is the old Killer Croc, and you know, he threw up all over his hands. So that is that is the difference there. Um, and my friend Rye. Um, found this in store for me, uh, near her store, but then I found it at mine. So I sort of knew about this going into it, um, and there was, there was just a refresh. Uh, I'm gonna take a look at the checklist just to see what wave that this came in. And this was the wave with, uh, yeah, uh, Thomas Wayne. So the one that kept getting refreshed. Uh, on the shelves uh, with one uh, with Catwoman and all that stuff. That was the one that housed this one. So if you see it, if you think you already have it, you might not yet. I just wanted to let you know uh, that that is out there and it exists, um, and it might be an exclusive to that wave. Uh, to my knowledge, the Joe Acevedo website does not list this variant. Um, because in the latest wave, it doesn't say that there is a Walmart exclusive at all, which is not the case. There is a Walmart exclusive in the latest Caped Crusader wave. The latest Creature Chaos Caped Crusader wave. There are four waves of Creature Chaos total. This is the last wave of Creature Chaos, and it, um, you know, it does have a Walmart exclusive 
unlike what it says on, on the Joe Acevedo checklist. Uh, the Joe Acevedo checklist also does not have any of the bad tech stuff. Just wanted to let you know that. Um, also, let's get into this guy. This one, I have no idea how this one happened. So, uh, let's take a look at these images once again. Uh, so, here are the three killer killer crocs no king sharks that we've already seen uh the retail one the uh bat armor one you know the one with the 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 gear the mega gear one and then um all the way to the right is the i believe the the newest one the the just standard retail one um I don't believe any of these were exclusive anywhere uh target exclusive or otherwise um but this king shark his pants are slightly darker, and this was the only one that I had seen on the shelves. Uh, this is not um, first edition either. Let's see that. Let's peep that. I also have the cards that we can cross-reference here. Um, see if there are any differences. It seems that this one is the same card, so I don't know... I don't know if this is an actual variant. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. If this was a running change or anything, but uh, oh, you know what? Let's take a look at the accessories. That might help. Um, ooh, he's got a. Ew. Oh, <laughs> I thought that was stuff on there. It turns out it's just you know the the details on it. Okay, uh, you got that gun. You got this toxic looking gun. Um, and then the, uh, the, the one that you plug on the back. All right, cool. And it swivels. I love it. Okay. Uh, let's compare side by side, uh, this King Shark with the other recently released one. I, there are my King Sharks. Okay. Um, so I saw mostly, uh, these on the shelves. This was the only one of these that I was able to find, and I mean I don't I don't get it. The even the uh, the detail, the the water detail on him is different. So I don't know if that one is a variant in terms of like how they paint it, or like you know someone's just like throwing paint all over it, or it's it is like an actual pattern variant on the arms. But this is different. Like, the pants are different. I'm not crazy. These are, these are different shades. Um, so, yeah. This, once again, a variant that I was completely unaware of. Uh, and is on the shelves right now. So, if you think you have it, you might not. So, check. Like, look. Look with, uh, I don't know. I was about to say look with your eyes. Because, like, how else are you going to do that? But, like... Be, be a bit more vigilant on these because this this uh, actually exists and is different. If it seems different to you, it might actually be. Um, <clears throat> so that was that one. And in, while we're talking about variants, I did want to talk about the... Oh no, it's sideways here. Uh, I have it right here. I did want to talk about the super rare Shazam. I feel like I've talked about this multiple times. But there are two different versions of the super rare Shazam. Not just the regular one. There is the regular one, this super rare, and um, so this is the the two super rare comparisons. There is one that's not right. <laughs> there is one that glows in the dark. So there is one that doesn't, and there's one that does. Um, on the Joe Acevedo checklist, it only lists a uh, one with. Um, I believe, uh, the glow-in-the-dark, but there is one without. Uh, I don't know which one's more rare than the other one, uh, because I've only seen a handful. Uh, these were my images, by the way. I did actually, you know, I promised one to a friend before knowing that, oh shoot, one glows and one doesn't. So that's rather unfortunate. But hey, you know, you make your promises, uh, and you gotta keep them. So, these are the variants that are are hard to spot. Um, make sure to just stay vigilant, keep collecting. If you find any other variants that I personally don't know about, let me know. Um, and I'm I'm 
I'm doing my best to like pull together some sort of checklist for myself because I don't know. Oh, you know what? You know what I can test right now? Um, so this, the black pants one, does it have, where is the checklist for that? Hmm. Okay. Uh, cause I do want to cross reference the checklist to see if this was any of the versions that we could have gotten. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, so. I, so, going off of the weapons, this green one, uh, the one with the green, I don't know if that one's fully correct, because uh, on this checklist, it's saying that this is supposed to be blue, but this turned out green. I don't know if that's correct. Like, I don't know if that might be a misprint or anything. This is in Sewer Showdown, so this might be, that might be the correct one. Uh, and it's just a misprint on here, so I don't know what the deal is with the variant on that one. Um, so yeah, just uh, just keep that in mind. Uh, I will, if you want to, to verify these for yourself, the Killer Croc, the UPC-A is 778 Um, and the UPC for King Shark is 778-988-245-200. So if you're looking for these and you see something and you want to verify just, just to make sure, those are the UPCs that I found. Uh, and the Killer Croc one, I'm fairly certain this is new. The the King Shark one, this might be a mistake. I don't I don't know what this is about. Let me know if you've seen these. Uh, if, if, yeah, let me know if you find these. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. Uh, if you liked the episode, hit the like button and subscribe if you want to hear more from us each week. And a lot of you, I believe 80 of you already have. So thank you so much. Uh, I, I love this line personally, and I am more than happy to discuss it and talk about it with everyone. Unfortunately, this is more the 4-inch line uh, than the 2-inch line or the 12-inch line. I'm, you know, I'm a 3 and 3 quarter inch collector. Also, uh, these are hitting shelves, uh, and, you know, quickie review, this is, this is not good. This is not a good time. I thought there was going to be a spring-loaded action to this, but this just sort of flops around but they are hitting store shelves right now uh don't pay scalper prices get this in a store uh anyway oh one last thing before i go i know i keep saying this um but uh heroes unite dc heroes unite are actually making it into walmart's now there's going to be a reset soon i've heard from uh, multiple uh, people on on Facebook that resets are going to be happening in the stores like this weekend and or on Wednesday or something for Target and Walmart. Uh, Wednesday for Walmart and then Target I think was the weekend. Um, and it might you know vary or depend on your area so make sure to keep checking. Definitely keep an eye out for the uh, Mr. Freezes. Um, and yeah that's about it. Guys thank you so much for watching. Keep it. This is upside down. There it is.